Okay, this is Space Pirates and Zombies demo. Now, given the name is involves pirates and zombies, it's easy to think that this is probably some sort of bandwagon jumping game that barely resisted the temptation to add ninjas. Uh, but from what I hear, it's actually a decent game and does, in fact, have both space pirates and some sort of space zombie type thing going on. So who knows? Fortunately, they have a demo so we can find out for ourselves. That's a lot of preloading. Oh hey, the torque engine. It's been a while since I've seen it. What? My save won't care. Ah. You know, if Chantelise and Reseteer can carry over the save, I don't see why you, this game can't. Okay. So, we'll have to go to the new game. Mm. Let's try something smaller. Okay. Looks like we got a tutorial coming up. And another load screen. But technically it's not a load, it's the computer um, generating stats and figures and such, I believe. Well, that's interesting. Okay, this is now the best load bar ever. Simply for those last two load messages. Space is a vast and desolate frontier, covering a seemingly infinite distance. Wait a second. Even the speed of light is dwarfed by the unimaginable scale of our galaxy. It took nearly 250 years to bridge the void between Earth and its closest neighboring star. Is this Total Biscuit doing the narration? Mankind had mastered the folding of space-time, but relied on the use of warp gates. Massive drone ships journeyed through deep space for centuries, deploying pairs of warp gates which allowed instantaneous travel between connections. Warp gate travel had not become commonplace until the discovery of a stable element, number 126. This element contained bizarre transmutable properties, allowing it to be reconfigured into different forms of matter. This made it the most valuable and sought-after commodity in the universe. Mankind quickly became completely dependent on element 126, which the first miners named Rez. Really? Rez? Due to the increasing demand for Rez, the Warpgate network became privatized. Anyone with ample funding was able to deploy new and unregistered warp gates. Like a new gold rush, convoys of miners traversed the expanding warp network looking for res deposits. This drove them closer and closer to the galactic core, where res deposits became richer and richer. Um, hooray. A growing number of isolated colonies became unmanageable. As the unique ecologies of each discovered planet intermixed through trade, potential pandemics became a concern. The United Terran Alliance was formed to control interplanetary contamination. They moved to heavily restrict gate access. Military blockades began to screen all trade ships traveling between gates, attacking any unregistered ships that attempted to use them. I'm guessing this is where the zombie contagion part comes in. For a time, the UTA was able to maintain control, but they soon crumbled under the weight of rapid expansionism and bureaucracy. When able to manage their fleets and borders, the military hierarchy collapsed. Without central leadership, the UTA fleets dissolved into a series of isolated subcells that rarely communicated or traveled beyond local space. Each military subcell now struggles to control their systems by whatever laws they see fit to implement. Despite the enforced isolation, rogues continue the gold rush while refugees amass hidden away from the UTA's eye. They survive within the vast junk fields of an abandoned Earth. There they build a massive flagship named the Clockwork. With it, they intend to travel to the galactic core in search of a legendary mother load of rares. Why? I I'm not certain what we get from finding it. Oh, hey, it's Gordon Freeman.
How long is this gonna take? Ship constructed. <laughs> Okay, it seems to be the usual twin stick shooter controls. WSD and mouse. This is a public service announcement. Must be something up here.
you're paying attention there will be a quiz after So I can only I can only build one new ship so far. Ship constructed. Hello. How do I build another ship? Seem to have built two somehow anyway. Okay. No, I haven't. Okay, I had to refit my ship into a dart, I guess. I sure hope you're paying attention. There will be a quiz after. Okay, this seems reasonable. Yeah, much faster. Thank you. 